The member from Halton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I have a question for the Minister of Health. Today, Stats Canada uh, reported a 38% drop in the value of building permits in Ontario. Shameful. Specifically, specifically, the report pointed to a decline in medical infrastructure building. These stats are a good indication of future building activity in, uh, in Canada, but in Ontario, the future seems eerily quiet. For more than a year, the minister has said that the new Trafalgar Hospital in Oakville was delayed due to a lack of construction capacity. Minister, to me, the stats can not numbers indicate uh, that indicate there are ample construction capacity in the province of Ontario. Minister, can you promise the people of Oakville that to renew construction of their hospital this spring? Mr. Uh, speaker, no. In fact, um, we had laid out a plan. It was called Renew Ontario, which had over 100 hospital capital projects. Uh, it's, it's, it's a renaissance of infrastructure like this province has never seen before, I say to the uh, member opposite. And we have many of those projects in the ground today and they are proceeding accordingly. Infrastructure Ontario, the body who is charged with being able to manage the procurement and driving out the actual delivery of these, uh, of these projects, did a market capacity survey. What they were able to find was, yes, we have put out so much work that we do have a challenge uh, around construction capacity, and hence we have re, uh, uh, rescoped uh, the time which, which Trafalgar Memorial will go ahead. I say to the member that we very much want to see this project move ahead as expeditiously as possible, and if there is ability to move it forward quickly, the Ministry of Health is very supportive, working with my colleague, the Minister of Energy and Infrastructure, to do so. Supplementary. Well, the minister says he's, uh, he's building a lot of hospitals. I guess the people in this house have a choice. We can believe what the minister says, or we can believe what Stats Canada says. Exactly I, right. I think I I've come That's down right. on the side of Stats Canada. The same situation exists up the road in Milton. An expansion plan for the Milton District Hospital was submitted Let in September, September of last year, seven months ago. But there is still no answer from the government. They're sitting on that report. In Milton, the population is exploding under your 2005 Places to Grow Act, but the hospital and the hospital can't keep up. In five years, your government has doubled revenues through taxes on health, on, like taxes on health premium. You are running a record deficit, borrowing from the next generation, and now we have a slowing in medical construction, according to Stats Canada, and increased, capa and increased capacity to build in the province. Minister, given that taxing and borrowing Given high unemployment rates and now construction slowdown, will you turn your words into action and finally fix the health care crisis in Milton? Minister. Speaker, this government is well underway doing so. It would have been it would have been nice if the member, when he was on this side of the house, yeah. would have advocated for Milton and for uh, yeah. for Oakville and, and their health care needs. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. we had yeah. deafening silence for eight years. Yeah. But what we have seen recently, Marcel, Speaker, Marcel, is his colleague, Mr. Mr. Hudak, who vies for the leadership of their party, who says, and I quote, this $32.5 billion spend that they're going to do on infrastructure, I don't think that's the right approach. It's too much. Cut. Tim Hudak clearly has it wrong, as does this member as well. Yep. Speaker, Speaker, this, he most certainly did, I say to my friend from Renfrew, on TV, uh, TVO, the agenda, March 31st, 2009. Spe Speaker, here's, here's the reality. Conservatives, either when they're in government or when they're in opposition, don't support investment in infrastructure. It took this Premier and this government and members on this side of the House with the gumption to be able to get these projects. Thank you.